All right, good morning. It is Wednesday. And we can get started. So I'm just now getting back into um, this project. I was off for about three weeks traveling. Um, restarted my stream uh, yesterday. Kind of caught back up on where I was uh, before I took the three-week break. And so now I'm just kind of getting back into it slowly. Um, did actually fix some stuff with the time zone issues um, yesterday. And I, I didn't actually think I would get to that yesterday, but I'm glad I did. It was it's a little easier than expected. Um, so now what am I doing? So what, so, so actually what I need to do, let me show you what I have. Oh no. That looks about half. Did it do it? Oh, this is the only one. Um, so, let's see. So this is what I was doing. I, I'm not going to keep this up. Um, so this is what I have. And the issue with yesterday was that the when I was when I was creating the date, um, so on the on the workout list, I, I just use the standard date format. Um, but in the actual workout, I wanted to make it more um, clear. So I wanted the actual day of the week, the month name. Um, so I but I needed to get the 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 name of the day and the name of the month. And there's a way to do that if you convert the date string, whoops. If you convert this date string um, into a date in React and then you can pull out that information. The problem was I needed to convert just this date. I didn't want to add the time, um, but it was, it assumed, or it wasn't taking into account the time zone. So like if this was, um, whatever, May 7th, it would convert this to May 6th because it would convert it back to um, like UTC time. Um, so it was just this weird conversion that I had to figure out. Like I had to figure out how to get the time zone and add that into the date. But that all, that all works now. Um, let's see if I can... Oh, this is going to be... Let's see. Yeah, this is, I had to, I had to, um, kind of reformat it. So anyway, all to say it worked out. Um, I have it working, but now what I want to do is, whoops, controllers. Um, implement the back end. Um, and I don't know if this is going to work because I have maybe it get workout. I don't think I have. So, so there's, yeah, there's a few, there's a few functions I need it. So update workout, I think is what I need to implement on the back end to, to get the, to get it working. Um, with the wells thing instead of just the mock npm. So let me um. That's what I'm gonna do today. No, and then um. I think it's just wells build. Again, I gotta remember how to do all this stuff. error I think it's because yeah update workout doesn't exist um
I wonder, do I have... No. Get new add. I have an exercise update, so I don't have a workout update. This should be up here. Workout update. Turn A dot workout C dot update workout. All right, and then figuring out if I actually have an update function. I don't. Okay, so I need an update function. Um, Let's see. Workout controller update. It's probably just going to be like this. All right, so new, what does new do? All right, so I can actually, um, so update, da, 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 da. so it's just updating the date and the title, which I don't have to calculate because it'll have already been updated there. Um, yeah, see this is, yeah, create, create, okay, this is what I want. Um, controller air workout update air while updating workout. Really, I just want let's not do this. All right, I go back and forth on how I want to write my error messages. I think simpler is better. Um, return nil. Okay, so this works. And now I need a update function. Huh. Why? Oh, I'm not there yet. This is what I need. Update. Yes. Okay. Um. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Why am I doing this? Just go down to it. Right. And what do I want? Let's just copy all of this. Why not? Air workout required date format, workout required title, and workout ID minimum. Perfect. Any other 
functions I want. Require title. Title max length. Nah. Okay. Alright, then it's just this. Uh, update. Alright, now let's, uh, let's see. No, SQL update. Yeah, okay. Update user set where... Oh, actually, you know what? I should already have... In exercises, I should have an update function. I do. Look at that. Okay. Um. Okay. So. Update. Set. Date equal to that, title equal to that. I'm not doing description yet. Set date, title, where ID equals that. Okay. Awesome. And then, whoa. And now this one. Oh, actually, let's do it right here. All right. W exec update. Yeah. Okay. Work at all um i don't think there's going to be a description yet i'm not going to do a description yet yeah um there's not going to be a description yet air wall yeah air updating that's fine Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Go back. Perfect. Uh, no. Workout. Variable type models as models. Um. Huh. Interesting. I mean, that's the easiest way to do it. Why is that not? Ah, okay. Not determine package. Could not determine package. Hmm. <clears throat> I get this occasionally. Models. Why do we have, no, we have models. I don't get that. Cannot determine package. I don't know. The compiler should 
If there's an issue, Parler will tell me. I don't know why GoVet can't do that. Okay. I mean, that worked. I don't know why it worked. Um, Vimgo could not determine package. I mean, that's not, that works. Oh, what? Why does that work? Okay, I don't know, I don't know. It worked, whatever. All right. Um, so now I should, oh, what I wanna do though is, this. Okay. Um, I need the SQLite cheat sheet. No, oh, no, 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 no. Where are the commands? Dot databases dot schema. How do I, is it just dot tables? It is. Okay, cool. Perfect. Um, select star from workouts. All right, so there are four workouts. Interesting. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's see what it looks like. Dot slash build bin workout tracker. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Um, Huh. Well, this is wrong. Okay. <clears throat> I think I know why. It's because I'm I've got a different format. This is going to break. But yeah. Okay, I need to fix the format. I actually wrote myself a note about this in the code. Um, this. This is what I need. I need to remove the seconds. Um, We'll see. <clears throat> huh. Okay, well, I just... Oh, actually. Nope, that breaks. Awesome. 
parsing time, error parsing date, panic, error parsing date, lot as cannot parse, yeah. Okay, you know what I have to do though? I have to drop table workout. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can just do this. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to have an issue. Now we're going to have an issue. I mean, that's that works. So, so I have a constraint on date. That date has to be unique. And because now I'm only storing dates as seconds. Um, or I'm only storing dates to the minute. And not to the second. I can only create one workout. I can only create one workout a minute. Um which is somewhat silly. Uh, I don't remember. Five, one, four. One, two, and four. Okay, so I need I need four exercises. I mean, it's working. Like I get this, so that's all working. I just have to. I would have to deal with the the dates and the times and all of that. Um, I, I mean, it's not terrible, not, well, okay. You know what? Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, I had a fun idea. Okay, I'm going to have to test this. Yeah, I'm going to have to test this. Because I have a fun idea. Okay, so 28. Workout 4. Submit. Okay, so that's 1028. So I shouldn't be able to make another one now. Nope, can't. Okay. But what happens if I change this to 30? Done. Back. Huh. Ten twenty. It didn't update it. I'm gonna need to refresh the list. I mean, it did. It did update. So it did update. It updated in the back end. It didn't update the actual list. Like if I go and change this to ten twenty four. This is now ten twenty four. It hasn't. It hasn't actually updated this list. Which is, now it's there. But what's weird is that this should now be, this should be the top one. Because 1030 is later. Oh.
That's interesting. I need to convert it to UTC. Okay, well, I can do that. For, it's gonna be in models, okay. Well, technically, where do I set it here? No, I created it for, yeah, it's in here where, yeah, new load location, time.now.in local. This is what I need. Local return error loading time location error .new error loading time location. Okay, that's fine. All right, so date is equal not time dot now. I need time dot parse dot in location dot format models dot work. Okay, yes. Um, let's do. Time. Hopefully there's a time dot parse. Time dot parse. Look at that. Layout value. Perfect. Time dot parse layout. Value. Workout dot date. Time error, okay, example. Um, short form, yes, okay, perfect. Um, date error. Date UTC. Is equal to date dot in dot format, okay. There does not equal now. Return user error format error loading error parsing workout date. Errors dot new error parsing workout date. Perfect. Uh, date UTC. dot models dot workouts um, id is equal to workout dot id date is equal to date utc and what's the last one date and name workout dot name has no field method. No? Title. Title. Perfect. ID, date, title, description, exercises. We're not there yet. Just title, description. Okay, I don't have description. I'll add that later. Um, cool. Of course, now I have to drop. I have to drop the table again. Whatever. All right, drop table workout.
Work out one. Submit. Got it. Okay. So here. Select star from workout. There we go. All right. So it's in UTC. If I go here and update it to, let's say, 25. This does not. All right, so I need to. I need to fix this, but I just want to do this first. Okay, so it, it it goes back to UTC. Perfect, and now I can do workout to submit. Now, if I edit this to be before, let's do like twenty. Oh, because I hit the back button. Interesting. Okay. It should. It does. Awesome. Out three. Submit. Edit. Um, make this June. Perfect. And again, I don't have that, but June 6th. Perfect. And workout four. Submit. Yep. Perfect. Two, one, three. That's nothing. Okay, great. So now I just need to. Hey, Vivex, how are you doing? <clears throat> All right, now I need to fix that bug. I'm pretty sure I know where it is. Let, okay. So. This, update workout, this. Where is this called from? Right here. Reset workout. Update workout. Set workout page edit false. Set workout page true. Save workout page. Yes. It's the back button. That's what does it. Left deck I'm back. Left click, close workout page. Close workout page, reset workout, set working page, false. So when I close the workout page, I kind of, um, I guess I'm just need to refresh the whole thing. Why did that work for the other one? Yeah, just doing some web dev. That's cool. You doing mainly front end or back end stuff? Why? I think I'm just gonna run reload. Yeah, I'm just gonna run reload. That seems like overkill to do that, but I don't wanna actually have to update. I don't wanna, uh, yeah, I, I don't wanna update the list. In the front end. Um, oh, that's cool. Like a, like an editor, like an in-browser, a browser editor. I've thought about... Um, I've thought about what it would take to build a 
build a um an editor seems daunting like you have to like i had um one of my well there was a class at my college i, I don't well i took the class but it wasn't the previous semester you had to build a um what did you have to build your own version of like a shell or something and it's just like i don't know the idea of building an editor and all that goes into it um seems se seems seems like a lot i i don't envy i don't envy you or anybody who builds editors but i guess i mean yeah, i'm sure there's ways to do it um uh, sure let's go with this Okay, so, so like if I do back, I mean this just resets the whole page, but whatever. I guess I'll do that. Okay, so what am I doing? Uh, so seven six. Let's edit. Let's go back a day. Seven five. Seven five. Okay, that's working now. Um, yeah. All right. So, yeah. All, I mean, all of this is, this is pretty good. All right. Let me go back to my notes and see what I've done. Um, should dates be stored? Yes. Should user, yeah, time zone. I'll figure that out later. I don't want to, oh, Yes. Um, issue not storing seconds. Can only create one workout per minute due to unique data stream. Objects constraint if stored with seconds can. User can create one more workout per second. All right, I think I want to. I I'll eventually go back and change that, change the format stored in seconds, and just deal with it on the front end. Um, the reason I'm not is because, like my mocks, I don't store the seconds, which I I should just do. But maybe I'll do. Yeah, I'll just add those seconds back. Add those seconds back. Actually, no. What I need to do is store it in a standard format and then convert it to what I want. That's what I actually need to do. Store it in, like, store it in, uh, what's this format? I think that's it. Well, actually, it's that. That's the format I need to store it in. Uh, all, right. all right, what am I doing now? Oh, going back to my notes. Okay. Add edit save button to edit title and date fields. Add exercises. Okay, so I have the button. Save user inputs on submit or on every change. What does the submit button look like? Where would it go? I think I have this. I have the submit button. Workout. Add exercises to workout. Yes, that's what I need to do. Let user set date time of workout in case. Yes, I already did that. Show. I already did that. Parse date time field to work. Yes. Perfect. I right. add edit save button. Okay. Edit workouts. All right. Now I just need to be able to add exercises. <clears throat> okay, that's done. Need modal to set date, prefill date with new date, use go to validate date. 
Nope, that's done. Create date time picker, done. On back, set scroll position. Oh, yeah, that's going to be, this one's going to be tricky because I got to remember that. So what I want is, well, it's not going to work in this one, but uh, in this one I can show it. Uh, what I have is uh, oh yeah I need to do this I guess alright so if is if the user has scrolled down and clicks on the mixed cardio. When the user goes back, it resets at the top of the list. I want it to reset back where the scroll set. So that's that's something I'm gonna, I think, and I actually think there's a way to do that pretty easily because I'm pretty sure there's a setting, there's a JavaScript setting to set scroll position. Um, so I just have to do that. Whoa. Let's see. All right, so that's fine. Date time picker input fields. On change, use React to parse determine day of week string. Yep. On change, validate date and React. Validate and go on submit. Probably still need that. Use go to format date time string in better format. Yes. Okay, so I still need to validate date and go time of partial fair on invalid date yes but actually now that i'm doing it oh one second am i doing that already so i'm parsing it here so this is i'm parsing it on update i just need to parse it on new which on new i'm actually just creating it So the only thing being passed here is the title. Okay, cool. All right, so that's done. Uh, yep, that's done. Use go format. Yep, so let me do that. Database null values. How to handle these? Front end errors. Yeah, I still have a bunch of front end stuff. Functions. Okay, well, I'm making progress. Uh, I think what I'm going to do next is add exercises. Oh, you know what I, okay, actually I need to, how do I do this? This is what's this on submit. Okay, workout, add exercise, add round, okay. Um, store results. That's what the submit button, submit button, submit button to save results once entered. That's what it was. Okay. So like if I type in, like if I type in some stuff here, Like I actually want this to be saved. And so I need a I need a button somewhere to save. That's the edit button. I need a button to save the results. Probably right here. Although that's going to get confusing with the edit button. Oh, that's cool. It kind of kept this stuff.
Okay. Um, I'll work on, I, I think I'll work on some of this later, like either adding exercises. I need to do both of these. I need to be able to add exercises, which that's going to just come down at the bottom somewhere, or like have it in the bottom right. And this submit button has got to go somewhere. Or it just saves it, mm, or it just saves it automatically. No, I'm not going to have it save automatically. I'm going to have a button for that. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to stop today. Um, there's some good progress. I guess it's stream streams a little shorter today, but you know, I'm, as as I get back into this, um, these should be longer streams as I remember how to do all this stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll just stop there for today. Let me uh, swap that. Um, Yeah, making progress, getting there. Um, yeah, I guess where where I mean, I need to be able to add exercises to the workout, add exercises to the workout, and save the results, and then that will be. That will be the basics of the fitness tracker or workout tracker, whatever I call it. Um, yeah, so that's that's really cool. I'm almost there. Um, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe I can get it done by the end of next week. Depending on how long it takes me to format to like figure out all the buttons and stuff and like make it look good. But maybe next week I can have the. Um, like an alpha version done with all the basic functionality. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Socials are Tyler Travesty on uh, Twitch, Twitter, and GitHub. Um, if you search Tyler Travesty on YouTube, my channel will come up where I upload all of my streams. So if you can't catch them live, you can always go to YouTube and watch them later. Um, feel free to leave a comment or post. I'll see those and respond. And today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, so there's not not going to be a stream tomorrow. Um, I will be back on Friday. Yeah. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.